Hey, good morning. I didn't see you there. So, um, where are you headed? Oh my goodness, your window. I know, my window's pretty dirty. So, as I told you on the previous video, we are going to camp. We're going to Jenna's Park. Maybe you've heard of it. It's in California. Uh, you can catch me out there if you see me there, but we're probably going to upload this video after the fact, so <laughs> you may not see me there because I'm not going to be there anymore when you see this video, but uh, we're expecting great things up there. We're excited. We hope that God moves up there, and uh, we want to record and show you what's taking place. Uh, currently, we're driving up there. It's probably going to take us an hour, an hour and a half. But we're, we're almost there, kind of, sort of. And uh, we're excited. Yeah. And look, Daniel shaved his face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright. Bye, guys. Till later. <laughs> oh my goodness, you are so silly. How do you feel? I feel like I don't need directions <laughs> to get here because I didn't use a GPS and I was able to make it. I'm excited, I'm hungry, I hope they have food. We went to a grocery depot. Depot. Depot? Depot. <laughs> depot. <laughs> and, uh,. And uh, they didn't really have that great of, uh, of divide, the diversity of foods. Yeah. So it was unfortunate. How were your Chipotle? They were okay. Chitters. A lot of was right not to get them, but let me tell you, <laughs> they were 50 cents and they're pretty big. So it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. How are you, Elida? I'm great. How That's are you? <laughs> we made it. It's 1104. We're all. Almost here, we just have to go downhill. It's like, it's a valley. It's a valley in midst of mountains. Yeah. So it we're looks, excited. It looks nice. I wish I could show you guys, like, the weather? this part, but it's, it's so dirty. <laughs> <laughs> no shade so towards Daniel or anything, but. I wish you could feel the heat.
in the beauty in the beauty of your glory God I stand in awe so in all of you in your presence I fall on my knees in awe of you hey how's it going I hope that you enjoyed the small clips that we included about camp uh, we recorded what we could my phone died Lida she did her best and she's actually behind the camera say hi Hey. <laughs> As you can tell, I kind of lost my voice. Maybe you can't tell, but if you couldn't tell just now, I kind of lost my voice. <laughs> uh, I'm really happy to be back at home. We went for two days. We we left on Wednesday. We got there pretty early, around 12 or so, around 11. And then we left Friday at night after the, uh, Thursday at night, I mean. So we stayed there for two days, two full days. And one night, Friday, we came back at night, arrived here around 1. Um, no, I, well, I did. I arrived. I had to drop off some people. So, overall, it was wonderful. It was amazing. I experienced God in that camp. I, I honestly felt the mercy of God. The worship was marvelous. And I was able to pray over certain individuals and tell them the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm really thankful for that opportunity. And I hope that all of you do have the opportunity to go to a camp somewhere. It's really fun. You go out, be with some friends. I kind of felt that I was getting a bit older, but a bit old for that to a certain extent. Um, I feel like certain things like wrestling, they're wrestling, is not so much in my cup of tea anymore. And it's not a bad thing. It's just that things change. And I always had that burden, that urgency to go back home, do homework, because I still have a lot of homework that is due. But I really enjoyed going. If you have a pastor or some leaders that you want to get connected, you want to, you want to get to know them better, go to a camp. You will get to know them better. And you will also socialize with other individuals in a greater manner than you would back here, because back here you have issues with life, you have things to do. Basically what we did up there at camp, we played some games, we chilled in a hammock, we ate some food, and we had service. Worship was phenomenal, as I said, and the altar call was great. And I also heard that um, the services beforehand, the students really connected with the Word of God. Even they connected to the preaching that was uh, preached when I was there, and they loved it, they enjoyed it, and I'm thankful that God continues to move through preachers. Uh, God continues to touch our life. And I'm really grateful for that opportunity. And he has grace over us. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope you see that you could see that even a 21 year old, although there are certain things that have changed, could hang out with a middle schooler, go to the same camp and encounter God. Although there are a lot of dissimilarities or things that are different, you th we are there for the same reason and that is God and God still connects with us. Also, I wanna let you know that we're going to be uploading more videos about our lives. So Lida and I are going to be communicating what we're doing and I hope that you stay tuned. I'm also gonna get a haircut soon. I don't know when. I w we're just less than a month for me to leave, well, around a month, not less than a month, around a month, uh, for me leaving here, the town that I'm from, and going to LA to train and for two weeks, then go travel the states wherever uh, they assign me to go for a while, giving assemblies. So be excited, I'm excited, and please join us on a Christian's journey. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video. <laughs> Comment if you have any suggestions.